In the last video, we constructed this picture, this two-observer space-time diagram. And we saw that the x prime axis is actually above the x axis. And the line of reasoning, just as a reminder, is that we saw that in um, uh, Beowulf's frame, event B and event O, the origin, are simultaneous. That means that, uh, and both occur at t equals zero, that means they're on the x prime axis. That's what the x prime axis means. It's the set of all uh, events simultaneous with this, same time. And then when we tried to figure out where event B had to be on this diagram, from Anna's point of view, we saw that it's up here. In this video, I'll um, make some more quantitative um, statements about the slope of this line and how to calibrate the x prime axis. So um, if you were thinking, gee, it's been a while since I've thought about similar triangles and I, I miss them, then this is going to be the video for you because we're going to look at um, some similar triangles here. So, um, all right, so we're going to do a little geometry. First, um, imagine that at the origin, Anna happened to let out a flash of light. If that were the case, that's going at a 45 degree angle, and that would be parallel to this. Light travels at the speed of light, it's either going this way or that way. All right, um, I guess I'm going to label the origin as O but mostly I'm just going to point. All right, so here's a triangle, and here's a, here's a triangle. And I claim that these are similar triangles. Let's see, why do I claim that? Well, I think that is true, because these angles, that's an alpha, not a very good alpha, but that's an alpha. These angles here and here are equal. Why? Because these lines are parallel. So when this straight line intersects here and intersects here, because these lines are parallel, it's going to make the same angle. Both this triangle and this triangle um, share another angle, this um, uh, right angle here. And so the, um, as a result, this triangle and this triangle, all their angles are equal, so they're similar. This is, um, this is just a scaled up version of this. All right, so let's think about what that tells us. All right, so these are similar triangles. This length is twice that length. So they're similar, and they're scaled up by a factor of 2. Remember that this length and this length are the same, so that this is twice as big as that. That means that this is twice as big as that. So in other words, this goes right through the middle of this. If this is half, this must be the other half. So I'm going to draw this to indicate that those lengths are the same. And if that's the case, um, then this triangle and that triangle are similar. And that means that that angle is alpha as well. All right. We are almost there. Um, Let's see. This angle here is 45 degrees because this is light traveling at the speed of light, making a 45 degree angle. Um, this angle here is also 45 degrees. 45, 45 is 90. And so that tells me that 45 minus alpha is blah. 45 minus alpha is blah that these two angles have to be the same. And I guess, all right, that's a theta that didn't come out very well. 
but hopefully you get the idea. So what that means is, is that, remember this had a slope of 1 over beta, then that means this is going to have a slope of beta. Their slopes are reciprocal. The angle that this makes with respect to the t-axis is the same thing that the angle that x prime makes with respect to the x-axis. So that's result number one, that um, we know um, not just that x prime is above the x-axis, but by how much. It's, um, it has a slope of beta, this has a slope of 1 over beta. I'll do an example soon with um, numbers and you'll see how this all works out. All right, the one other thing I want to uh, conclude from this, let's look at these triangles again. So this triangle and that triangle. They share an angle. Um, they're sharing a side here. So that tells me that this length and this length are the same. So what that means is, is that remember we used a, a factor of gamma to calibrate um, the t prime axis, we're going to use the exact same factor of gamma to calibrate the x prime axis. So now we have all the ingredients that we need to construct a two, uh, a two observer, a two reference frame uh, space-time diagram. We have x and t. If the primed um, reference frame, Beowulf, is moving at a speed beta, then we know how to make t. We draw a line 1 over beta with a, with a slope 1 over beta. We know how to make the blue x. That's with a slope of beta. And we know how to put out the time and space markings here. It's just rescaled by the factor of gamma. So in the next video, we'll put all this together. We'll build up a two-observer space-time diagram, and we'll see um, how we can use them.